hi everyone welcome to my channel today we're going to see you know one more video in our nlp beginner to advanced series we have covered i think two videos related to the sentence transformers or the sentence embedding so in the one of the video here i explain what is sentence embedding and how to use those sentence embedding for the sentence similarity semantic search and clustering then i create one more video that how to use those sentence embedding that we you know created from our you know, from our text how to use that sentence embedding as a feature for your text classification model and today what we're going to see because when you want to build any application which uses vector embedding you need some way to store those embeddings and an efficient way to retrieve or query those embedding and for that purpose we're going to see a vector database called pinecone so the vector databases are, you know, uh, the database is specially built to store the vector embeddings so that, you know, uh, you could easily search and retrieve those vectors. We also call it as indexing those vectors. And we're going to see one of those uh, vector databases called Pinecone. So if you go to the Pinecone a vector database, you can simply sign up here. You could use your Gmail or Google account. And finally, you will have some dashboard. A you know, some kind of a free or starter plan that you can uh, use it. So let's do one thing. So first of all, we're going to need two libraries. One is the sentence transformer to generate our embeddings. And finally, a Pinecone client, which is, you know, a Python API to connect this particular vector database. One of the good thing about the Pinecone is it is an API as a service. So you don't need to worry about the infrastructure aspect and all these things because we're just going to use an API to store and retrieve that particular embedding. So I'm going to use a database called a Quora question pair data set, a quite popular data set, you know, when it comes to a semantic search or a question answering kind of application. So I'm going to use that particular, I, I'm just taking one small sample of the data set, hardly 200 examples I think that I have taken. What does that data set has? Uh, it has, you know, some record ID. Then you have some question one, question two, and it tells you whether the question one and question two are duplicates. It means they might use different words, but they actually mean the same thing. If they mean the same thing, you will, uh, you know, have a one there saying that it is a duplicate. So these are all duplicate. Question. So this is related to the physics. This is also simply related to physics, and that's why it is marked as a, a duplicate thing. So when you create account on Pinecone, you get some API key. As I told you, you use it as an API. So you can uh, go here. I think yeah, here is the API keys that you can generate your own API keys that you can use, and you can also read some you know in the docs quick start guide how to use that. The basic thing is. You can import the pine code that we just installed and we initiate the pine code with giving our API key. And this is a default environment. I think it is using GCP or something. So let's initiate that particular, you know, pine code thing. Next thing we want is sentence transformer because we want to create those embeddings from this particular text. And we're going to use this model from the sentence transformer and I'm also going to use a GPU because I have selected runtime as a GPU. So that is the reason I am putting this device is equal to CUDA. And let me run this thing. And if you don't know which model to use for, you know, embedding purpose, you can go to, you know, sentence transformer website. And if you click on here, I guess. Yeah, here is the pre-trained models. If you come to website, let's say if you go to the home page of the sentence transformer and then you will see your left side pre-trained models and you will get the details of all the pre-trained models, what they have. And you could see this particular model that we are using and you could see you know, how did that particular model has performed on a task like semantic search or just considering a sentence embedding, right? So I'm going to use this model, particular model. You can see what exactly this model and Okay, it is from the Microsoft and you are not limited to this particular model. If you go to Hugging Face Model Hub here, Models, and if you select left side task as a sentence similarity, you can see a lot of models that you can use and you could see most of them are actually coming from the 
sentence transformers account. So you could use any of this model to generate those embeddings, right? So we're going to use, you know, this model to generate and let's generate one of the embedding. If you have watched the earlier video, we know that you can take that model and simply call an encode method and pass your text or a document that you want to generate embedding. So I'm just checking what is the length of the embedding. So you could see this particular model generate an embedding of a dimension 768. It means our vector length will be 768. So let's create the pine cone index. So to use the pine cone to store our vector, the first thing we need to create the index. We can also, uh, you know, think of it as a indexing our documents is nothing but the storing them so that you can retrieve them. So you create an index, give some name to that index. I have given name it as a question search and you also specify the dimension of vectors that you're going to store in this particular index. So as I know, the embedding length is actually 768. So we tell that we want to store a 768 dimensional vector. So let's create that index. And once that index get creates, you can simply use the pinecone.index, give the name of the index that you just created so that now you get the reference to the index. And then you can use this reference to store and retrieve vectors from that particular index. So let me run this statement also. Okay, so we got, you know, reference to that particular index that we just created. And what we're going to do, we will going to iterate through this data frame. And we're going to pick up this column question one column and we're going to create vector for each of these question. And then finally, we're going to insert that vector with some metadata in a that pine code database. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to iterate through our data frame. First of all, every time we iterate, we get a one row. And then what we're going to do, we're going to append some detail to this particular empty list that we created. So we created a list called question list and what it is going to store, it is going to store a tuples, a list of tuples, what we're going to have. What does each tuple indicate? Each tuple indicates is actually our one row that we're going to process. So that tuple will be having first thing is the ID for our record that we're going to put it in a pine code. The actual vector that we want to you know, store and that vector we're going to generate using transformer or sentence transformer and some metadata related to that vector or a record. So let's do this thing. Once we iterate through it, what we're going to append? The first thing, we're going to take the ID column of that row. You can see there is some ID column. We will use that same ID column as our record ID. So the first thing in that tuple, because this is the tuple, this is the first field in that tuple, which is the ID. Next thing, we want to put our vector itself. So how do we going to put? We're going to use this model.encode, similar the way we did it on the top here, right? This one. So we're going to do model.encode and we're going to put our, whatever the question we have in that data frame and finally going to convert into the Python list. That is our second item, this one in that particular tuple. And finally, you can put some metadata about that record and that metadata is a dictionary. So we're going to put Metadata saying that, you know, since there is a column called whether it has any duplicate or not, I'm not going to use actually this thing. It is to just show you that you can store certain information. So we're going to store the key called is duplicate in the metadata and we're going to store the actual question itself. So whatever question we're going to store as a vector representation, we will also store what is actually that question so that when we match the query with that vector, we should know with which question we are matching. So that is what this one tuple and we're going to do this for all the rows in our data frame. <coughs> Sorry. And if you look at this bottom here, so what we are doing, since I found that if I want to insert all these 200 vectors at a time, it is giving me error saying that, you know, it exceeds their max limit that how many vectors at a time we can insert. So we're going to do one thing. We're going to see whenever we have 50 records inserted here, 50 tuples, we're going to 
use index.upsert it is the method to insert and then finally our question list which is nothing but the tuples that we just collected and we're going to insert and we will make that list again empty so every time 50 records will happen we're going to insert in that point on data list so let's run this thing okay so this records got inserted in the vector database we could also see our you know index that we just created so if i refresh this thing we should see the index that we just created yeah this is the index you know what we just created and you could see it has you know 768 dimension for that particular index and there are some info about this thing okay how many vectors and all this information you can have it here okay i think it inserted only 150 you just saw why because only three times this condition satisfied this particular condition is never going to satisfy because since I am emptying this question list, it is never going to become the length of this thing. So this condition will never happen. So finally, we have only 199 examples. So the last 49 is not going to insert. Okay, this I observed while directly recording. But anyway, this 150 examples are enough for us to test our thing, right? So let's do one thing. Since we know that there are, you know, 150 uh, vectors are inserted here let's test some of them so what we will do we will write a query you know how do i prepare for a civil services and we will take that query we will do the same thing we're going to model dot encode our query going to convert into the list format this is our query and finally just like we use index.upsert for inserting we can use index.query function pass our query vector and we want to return the top two matching and we're going to say include the metadata also that what we have so let's run this thing and see whether we got any matching question inside that uh, vector database and we got some match and you could see it matches with the you know a record with id 38 and if you could see since we have metadata the actual question that it is matching there we could see that when we search how do I prepare for the civil services, it did find something related to UPSC. So this is the power of, you know, a power of semantic search that you could use totally different words, but it knows that, the, you know, preparing civil services is just same as a preparing for UPSC. So that is the reason it is the most match, you know, semantically matched question that we have. And another question uh, also related to some exam preparation we got. And we could try, you know, let's say, try other example here. You know, how to leverage internet for business. This is something we want to ask. And let's see what question it matches. So the two questions it matches is, one is, you know, how can I make money through internet? And what is the best way to make money online? And you could see, though we are using totally a different, you know, wording. For example, here, you know, uh, you can think of like say we use word internet but it knows that the maybe the online and internet are actually the similar thing right making money and doing a business is the same thing so that is the reason that it is able to match the meaning of this particular question with what we have i hope you found this video useful you know you can leverage this particular you know vector database pine cone in your application to make it you know your search faster and the low latency response and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe or you can go through you know all the videos in the playlist and let me know you know if you have any suggestions for the next video thank you